Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new episode of Airport CEO here at Mozzie International. Um, and yeah, we're still waiting for these guys to build. Uh, they take forever. However, the inside of it is done and we can actually now set up our desks. Um, even though they're going to take forever to get installed. So, I'm going to do one here. One here. And we're going to do this one over here. Like so. And now we're going to actually do some check-in desks here. So there is one, two, three, four. So four check-in desks. Uh, one, two, three. Let's do that one. And there. And then we're going to put a wall in. And that wall is... You know what? We're going to actually have actually have to sacrifice this crossing here. No, we're not going to do that. We're just going to sacrifice the crossing, but it's fine. There is a reason for this. And this gate will be one of the big ones that we need to uh, do. There we go. So basically all the passengers are going to start embarking here and they all go to different gates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the following. I oh, cannot put balls outside. Nope, can't do that either. Dang it. I thought I had something cool there, but I didn't. Alright, so this board and desk will connect to this one, this one, to that one, this one, to that one, this one. Nope, clear stand. That one goes to this one. There we go. Down to that one. That one to you. That one. And that one to that one. Lovely. Awesome. And the check in desks are all ready to be used. Which means we've now got more stands for more aircraft for more planes which means we can add more contracts stripe air i don't want a big one right now so we'll go for havana air and we can not maple maple's got too big of a fleet right now and you've got some large ones which i don't want we'll take a goose airlines there we go So two more to add to the flights. As you can see, Havana Go and Goose Wings are already there. Going to be busy, guys. Busy airport. Really busy airport now. We've got our arrivals. We've got our takeoff. We're happy. We are happy as can be. Which means we're going to have to hire more people, more ramp agents. So that's a pretty good pool, actually. Passenger agents, service agents are there. Ramp agents, not so good of a pool. Not so good. Not so good. We need some higher quality out there. So let's go and train our staff. Ramp agents, they're all they're as good as they're going to be. There you go. And let's go to our passenger service agents. Let's train you guys. You guys need to be better. You definitely need to be better. So do you. And you as well. I'll train you because you need to be that tad bit better with what you do. Uh, we'll train you just to get there. Looks good. Looks good. We've got quite a few staff now, which is a benefit for us. I think we're going to need a few more janitors though. But the place doesn't look too uh, dirty, which is nice. Doesn't look too dirty. Contractors, we can. Uh, There you go, we'll keep 30, and they're all going to go home now. So what are you complaining of? Toilets. There's a, those toilets back here, man. You're the one that chose to go through there. You can always go back into the airport and use this restroom. As you see, the guys are fixing it. Lovely. 
lovely. Awesome. This airport is working incredibly well. Not gonna lie. Ah, oh, most of our stands are filled. Are you kidding me? Look how many flights there are today. 60 flights today, guys. What's running late? No, oh dear. What, what does it need? Oh. It needs to be boarded, which means we need more ramp agents. Or passenger service agents, I should say. No, we'll hire some more of these guys anyway. Oh, that is a good pool for passenger service agents. Let's get them. Let's train them though. Train. Train them. Train them, train them, train them, train them. Lovely. Does this mean we're not... Oh, there's no door here. Oh, you spoon. You absolute spoon. There we go. They can walk in and out for the time being. Alright, phew. Alright, we fixed it. We fixed it. We fixed it for now. No, no, no. Yeah, that one's waiting for boarding. 12 passengers. 13, 14, 15. 16. And you can get out of here. There we go. He's now getting out of here. And they should return to normal now. They're just a little bit delayed, but it's fine. It is fine. What's this? Security rating. 100% right now. Scanners. We don't have any scanners, so. What's up? Our average is 72. Average airline rating. No. Is the consumable fees? They don't like the consumable. All right, we'll turn we'll turn down the consumable fees for them. Uh, jet A1 fuel for 0 0.5. For ab gas, we're not going to do that. Passenger handling fee, we're going to take it down to 22, like so. We'll charge less, but we need janitors. We need some more janitors. Let's get some janitors in here. Let's hire you. The rest ain't that good. Yeah, Ooh, do you know what we can do? Do you know what we can do, guys? Let's do it there. Uh, is that coming on? Yeah. Let's do this. See what I'm doing here, guys? See what I'm doing here? And then this one to get off from this one. And we're going to connect to this. Uh, let's connect to like that. There we go. Let's do that. Let's do that. This is going to be entrance only onto runway. And then. And then this will be for general aviation. This one will be for uh, for commercial. So they don't need to keep lining up. So commercial aviation. This will be a departure. They're building it. They'll build it. Cause there's a bit of bit of tra traffic here. I don't want, I don't want travel. I want to just keep being fluid. Because when there's a lot of planes at one certain time, it's just harder to, to do. It's just harder to just, just make you get on the damn aircraft. Just go. <laughs> with my time, they're wasting everybody's time. You don't want that one there. You don't want that one there. You want it here. Like so. Come on, guys. Start building. Build quicker. You know what? We have to get all our contractors. Deploy all of them. Deploy all. Just get them all here. Get them. Get those buses. Get them on. Get them sorted. Let's go. 
What am I paying you guys for? Standing around? Get those contracts done. Get those contracts. Look at the little f army of contracts that are just heading up. The army of contractors. Look, look how quickly they go now. Boom. Boom. Business is booming. Come on, give me that one score. There we go. Oh, is the connection not done? Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. You gotta be a, get, having a laugh, man. Come on. Get that. Get those done. Get those done. Ah, man. We've got three, three runways at the airport now. Ah, man. We're building runways left, right, and center. Go and that that one is a uh, exit. Just leave them. There we go. Now we can open it. There we go. And then this one's no longer gonna accept general aviation. Lovely. All right. I think I think we're good there. I think we're good. Just gonna get rid of this one here. So, and then this one can be two way again, and then set one way. There we go. Off you go. Off you depart. And then we can have two simultaneous departures at the same time. See? Well, depending if they get there both at the same time, but. This way, general aviation doesn't affect our commercial. Unless we do departure, arrival for commercial, departure, arrival for general aviation, which also might work. But I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to just keep buying runways. I mean, I do because it means we can have more. But right now, that's not what we need. Soon we're going to build a terminal here just for our domestic ones, which will be our little small planes here. And these ones will be for our big medium ones, which will be taken out by uh, by buses. I'm not going to put them next to the terminal, maybe one or two of them. And then over here will be our large stuff and we'll see what happens. Maybe we need to fix our, our runway systems a bit better, but for now we've got what we've got. We've got an arrival runway for uh, general aviation and everything else, so it's it's good. It's good. What's our departure? Ninety-eight percent. No delays, hardly any delays, which is good. Low stagnation on the taxiways. That's what we like to see. What we like to see. All right. What are we doing with our research and development? Let's send these contractors home. All right, it's done. Lovely. Okay, so we need, we need. I'm tempted to do structural engineering. It gives us concrete stuff, and it's, you know, it's even more better than tarmac building a tarmac. So, um, let's start two of them. We'll do the remote stand service as well. We need three. We're gonna need five. There we go. We're also gonna do. What's this one? Floor construction permit. That's what we want. Awesome. So we can give you build permission on floors, stairs, escalators, and stuff. So we can have like a. Huh. 
can have like a check-in area that goes down onto things and then they go down the stairs to the departure lounges that might work so the check-in desk would be like on the first floor the arrivals on the ground floor like in one of the building well in the terminal building and then the part departures and arrivals and stuff. all right that, that sounds good look how many freaking planes we've got what a, what a she look how many planes we've had today we've had the maximum of 75 I think we can build the large one now. Yeah, we can. The large tower. 150 grand. Alright, large tower for... Uh, let's do it. Large tower here. We need some contractors to build it though. Let's uh, deploy 10 of them. There we go. 10 of them can build that. Should be fine. And what's our profit? Are we making profit? Yeah, 54. If we're not buying stuff. I mean, we made actually. Hold on, we made a loss of seventy-one thousand for cash flow. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see what our expenses are today. How's our fuel doing? Okay, they've just been resupplied, so that's good. So, what's this one waiting for? Boarding hasn't started. Boarding not started. Boarding not started. It's refueling. Okay, boarding started on that one. Lovely. I think we need some ramp agents. That one's all done. Awesome. How many you got? We got how many stands? We got 14 stands, is that what it is? Yeah, 14 stands. And how many How many customers? What I mean by that is how many uh, contracts? Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. If I give them 2, I need one more stand to give them 3 each. I don't have space for another stand. As you can see. Unless I build. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Uh, no, that's not a stand. That's not what I want. Oh, do I upgrade to concrete now? Concrete's expensive. 400 compared to... Th I mean, it's 100 more. Let's do this. Right, and I'll show you the reason to my madness, guys. We're going to knock out some of this... Um, old tarmac, we're going to put the one way system down here and then we're going to expand into this one but I've got like a little plan that I want <clears throat> and technically I could have moved, I can move the terminal back a little bit to uh to accommodate like moving these back I mean so basically move this whole section here to the left and then have another space on the right for them to Cross the street and walk or get the bus to their shuttle destinations and stuff. Alright, so we don't need two stands anymore. And that means we've now unlocked 200 flights a day. 200 flights a day. There's 77 flights on Sunday. On Monday, there's 73, and then they'll fill up. But, guys, are you kidding me? 77 flights a day that this regional airport's handling right now. Bear in mind, this is not an international. This is not international. So we can actually start building our actual... So yeah, we're going to start demolishing this bit area. We're going to put it into the general aviation section. Which means we're going to need some ter uh, some terminal buildings. So we're going to have these ones still as a walkout. Here. Uh, three. Four. And then a medium crossing here and here, like so. And then infrastructure, yep, we've got the service car stopped, so that is good. Go back to operations at R&D. Right, I don't think we need anything for right now. Maybe a medium fuel depot so we don't need to keep calling 
the fuel guys to come around and we can start building our terminal our new terminal building which will be which we can't right now we can build some of them there we go build some of it so our we're going up we're going up which is good we don't have any shops and stuff which is what passengers want to be honest Passengers are enjoying the distance they walk, how there's no delays, times queuing is a lot, staff friendliness is down, which is uh, really weird because uh, we've got pretty high standards and stuff. So you know what, let's, uh, let's train them all. Can't go wrong with training. It's, it's, it's money well spent, I believe. If we get that rating higher, it just means that we're doing a good job. They want friendly stuff. They want to be. They don't want some dick stuff that are just gonna not listen to them, right? Let's train you. Training. Max training. Lovely. Let's hire some more uh, ramp agents. We're gonna need them. You know we're gonna need them. Training needed. Let's have a look. Probably on the first page. Nope. Second. You know what? Why are we doing this? We need to just go to rampage. Training. There you go. Training. Lovely. We spent some money on training, but it doesn't matter. Training is important. We need contractors. Deploy them. We've got escalators now on our on the thing, so that's going to be even better. Can we do this now? Nope. This much? Nope. This much? That's pointless. Wait for them to build the con the uh the concrete. They're arriving though, they're arriving, so we're good. They will be building. Soon. Soon they will be building. Some of them building that, some of them will be building this. Man oh man! We've got flights. 89 flights today, guys. What about Monday? 89 on Monday. It is busy. Busy, 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 busy. And have you noticed we don't have any delays right now? Which is good. That's good. Delays is what we don't want. We need some more janitors. Janitors. We need more. We just need more. Higher, higher. Uh, reject them. Go to janitors. Let's train them. Train the janitors. Be better at their jobs. Cleaner airport is better for us. Let's get the queues down here. Let's do it. Let's get a little queue system. So these guys being absolute animals. Queue systems. There we go. So they go through security and everything. It will just be an easier experience. Easier experience for them. See? Look, you go down the queues now. There's hardly anyone waiting. There's only a few flights being boarded. We're good. We are absolutely golden. Golden. Alright. So, I think next, right, once we get enough money, we're going to start developing this area. Right? Get a new sort of terminal building in. What can we build with this? Oh, we can't build it anymore. What? There we go. Adding. Adding buildings. Adding a terminal. So I think this new <clears throat> the new terminal is going to the new entrance is going to be down here like this one. It's probably just swap sides, swap seats and stuff. And then we'll make sure that this stays close to the uh, public for the time being. The check-in desks and stuff, because they really like to go from one place to the other. It's horrible. Flight shouldn't be getting delayed, guys. We need some more passenger service agents. Oh, they're coming. A rarity. Reject. Come on, you've got this. Let's do it. Better at their jobs. 
passenger service. Let's get him trained. Let's add a new one. Get him trained. Train him. Get her trained. Where is she? She's around somewhere. She's got to be. There she is. Caroline, I'm sorry, not this time. Martina, most definitely come on board. Come on board. <clears throat> and need some training as well. Martina, get her trained and she'll be fine. Nicole doesn't even need training, nor does, uh, nor does that other guy. Damn, that was, that was a good pull, actually. Hold on, where are they? Passenger service. I don't even know where they are. Oh, Santiago, there he is. He's been max trained. The other one couldn't even get training. That's how good it was. Higher, higher, higher. Reject. Training. Training. Boom. Alright. Let's do that. And then I think we should have enough passenger service agents to, um get these guys rotated which is what they're not doing because we don't have enough if we can get some of them rotated it's better because then if they need to go for a break and stuff like his energy is going down right so should be good they should be there's the TSA guy here another one there they're chilling there so they rotate I believe so yeah, <clears throat> lovely, lovely jubbly. All right, and on that note, I will end the episode here. I'll come back when these guys have actually finished their uh, jobs. So yeah, I'll catch you guys soon.